Hey, this should be a pretty quick introduction to a seven segment display. Those of you in the DE course um, have some guided notes where you can um, fill in some blanks. So a seven segment display is simply a figure of um, I'm, uh, there you go. Um, it's grouping um, eight LEDs together and those LEDs are labeled see I was clicking on my keyboard and I was moving uh, the frame for my video instead of moving the PowerPoint so those segments in this figure eight pattern are labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and G and sometimes even um, another one DP for decimal point so they start at the top and they go in this clockwise order alphabetically with the G in the middle so make note of that. Um, there are two types there's a common cathode and a common anode and let's see if I can draw in here the common cathode okay what what you're gonna notice is different if you look at these LEDs an LED is a light emitting diode so you see the diode symbol the direction that the diode is pointing is different between the common cathode and the common anode. Okay, so and, and if you really trace these pins for the each LED, A, B, C, D, find all those and kind of trace them, all right, what you're going to find is that they are connected, okay, all of them on the cathode side, if it's a common cathode. So the cathodes are in common, they're all connected. Where here, it is the anode side of the LED that's all connected. So if you look at where all these wires inside are all connected, they're all connected to the anode side. All right, so the difference in that really is just what are we connecting um, to each pin, the A, B, C, D, et cetera, pins. And um, that's kind of given away right here. Even you see GND ground. So we've got ground pins on the common cathode which means we're going to bring in the VCC power or 5 volts at the A, B, C, D, E, F, G pins. Here you see that you have a pin for VCC for power for the voltage which means the ground is going to connect to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. All right. Um, in this case connecting power and having power at the pin is going to turn on the LEDs so the common cathode think will light up when connected to VCC and in the common anode we're connecting ground you know to get the LED to turn on so if you have the LEDs connecting to ground or have a circuit where it's connecting it through through to the ground then you'll get the LEDs to turn on so hope that makes sense we'll do a couple examples if I can jump ahead in the PowerPoint okay here we go um, first off, they in the PowerPoint just kind of show common configurations of using these, this figure eight formation to create our digits and then possible um, select letters that can be created. And with those letters and some of the alphabet, we can get some simple messages to come across. So you think of a vending machine um, across using those seven segment displays to give a little message to you. Okay. Um, the PowerPoint just reviews the basics of an LED. You can go back and look at that if yourself, but I think you guys understand um, how to turn on an LED. Okay, and that brings us up to this example. So um, in the example here, it says what value would be just displayed in the common anode. Okay, and in the common anode, in order for the um, LEDs inside to be to be illuminated to turn on the pin for each of those LEDs would have to connect to ground so um, I see ground right here and if I trace that up I can see where those ground wires are going so I can see that I'm gonna have a ground at G this one trace it goes to F this one right here goes to C. 
they're in order. This one at B, and that's it. The others, if you trace those pins in the path that they've got, they've taken them to the VCC or 5 volts power. So now, think of our um, kind of configuration here. We've got A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And the ones that are turned on are here. I could, I guess, I could have labeled them too. A, B, C, D, E, F. Nothing like drawn with a mouse, right? And G. So we have B illuminated, C illuminated, F illuminated, and G. And hopefully that lets you see what number. So what do we get? We get a four. There you go. So simply um, having your circuit determine which pins are connected to ground or VCC, in this case because this is a common anode, the ground, we can control which LEDs light up and which number or letter we might get. All right, let's look at the next example. Okay, and this one, the second example, it's a common cathode. So now we're really looking for which ones are connected to the VCC, the power. So I'm going to go ahead and label, draw these out, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So, right, remember A, B, C, D, E, F, and G in the middle. All right, so let's see. We're tracing the 5 volts to right here. So that's going to be A. A is going to be on. Traces to here. That's B. Skip C. C is going to be off. This one connects. That's D. E connects. Um, F does not. F crosses over here, but there's not a dot, so that's connected to ground. It'll be off. Um, and then this one, the last one, G. So I'm going to do my best over here. So I've got A and B not C, uh, D, E, and G. All right, that's not <laughs> the best, but let's let's maybe redraw it. So you got A, B, you got the middle one right here, you got E, and you got D. Do you see it? It's the number two. All right. So, um, for our purposes, that's kind of the end of the guided notes, um, and then next you're going to move on to the activity. All right, when you move on to the activity, let's take a look at it here. Um, they're going to have you use multi-sim, you can see, um, to create some of these circuits. Just a friendly reminder that in the beginning of your notebook, um, was, there was a blue resource page, those of you in the DE course, that will... Uh, remind you or, or um, tell you where to find things inside multi-sim. So the seven segment display is found under indicators and then hex display. Okay. Um, here's an activity where you're, you know, figuring out um, to get each digit to, um, to be on the display, you know, what would need ones and zeros. Um, same thing here. Uh, alpha characters. Okay, so just kind of you being able to figure out, you know, where do you need a 1 and 0, how you turn the LEDs on and off. I think that'll be pretty easy for you. Um, here they've got you building a little circuit. Um, it says, let's see how you can use a 7-segment display in a logic circuit. Analyze it. What message do you think? You don't need to build this in multi-sim to figure it out. If you remember kind of tracing um, to create expressions, logic expressions, kind of tracing the J and the K through. Um, you know, going through an inverter, becoming not J, K, etc. See if you can't um, kind of figure that one out. All right, and then they get down to here. And this step right here, this is referring you back to the previous activity, activity 231, where they told you there's a, um, um, a digital hex display. So not the new display we've been just talking about. Okay, this digital hex display is one that just has this built-in um, kind of encoder or driver that can interpret um, binary, four-digit binary, and display 
the corresponding um, hexadecimal value. Well, what if we want to take out that hexadecimal value but display, um, kind of basically convert from binary into a seven segment display? In order to do that, there are devices um, that act as that driver or that translator because um, the seven segment display doesn't have anything built in that can, that can do that. So there is a device, okay, these drivers, the 74 LS48 or, or 47, they're based on if you have a common cathode or anode seven segment display. Um, here's a picture of what it looks like, but they act as that translator between four digit binary and the seven segment display. So you can see coming in here, kind of working left to right, we've got our binary count ABCD going into this translator. Um, we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, and G coming out to be able to control. So this thing is doing the work to interpret, you know, what is this? If this is binary three, kind of saying, hey, the lights, the LEDs that we need to turn on for three would be what? A, B, C, D, not E, not F, but G. And it would send out the correct corresponding one or zero, um, again, based on if we're using the common cathode or common anode um, to get that to turn on. All right, um, earlier in this um, video, I kind of, you know, I didn't finish the PowerPoint. You can look at that, but um, just making note, you've got all these resistors in here. Just remember, we got to have resistors um, to slow and control the flow of electricity, which will also control the brightness. The PowerPoint does do a little reminder of kind of the idea that these resistor values can, can determine the brightness of your LEDs. And so they show a little chart if you were trying to decide what brightness value you wanted, how you could go and calculate the needed resistor value. So you might take a look at that. Um, here they've used a two, 220 ohm resistor. All right, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of end the video here and let you take a stab at um, going through the rest of this. Um, if I determine that maybe I think there's some some frequent or common questions you're going to come across. Maybe I can post a part two video with um, kind of FAQs and otherwise we'll call that good. I hope you guys are doing great.